Okay, Light Neon, this one's pretty simple. Uh, basically, the Maparachik's apparel model that you're trying to use uses the actual model name for it is Heavy Shirt. And the way that I found that was by going to the guides. going to the guides, there we go, and R234 and a few of us put together a guide of all the uh, models, files, that uh, file names of the weapons, hats, and miscellaneous for all the characters, according to the uh, wiki page. Anyway, go in here, and if you scroll down here, find heavy, go to his miscellaneous items, and scroll through here, unfortunately, there isn't a search found that uh, the item that you were looking for is this one here, the apparatic, uh, the apparatic chicks uh, apparel. And the actual SFM file name for that is heavy shirt model. So coming out of here and going into source filmmaker, I don't know if you're having a problem actually finding it or putting it on the heavy, but I'll give you a quick demonstration on how you put it on the heavy as well. Right now I've got the work camera on, I'm in uh, Source Film Maker, got a map loaded, got a scout loaded, we need the heavy. So I come in here, create a new model, and I look for the heavy. And I'm going to take the HWM heavy because of the fact that we might want to give him some phonemes or whatever. So I add him to the scene. And what I need to do is I need to put him down on the ground floor, like beside the scout. I'm going to change the uh, manipulator to the uh, motion manipulator here, the screen manipulator, I guess they call it. And just hold down the shift key and move him onto the floor. Next thing I need to do is I need to bring in the actual item that I'm going to put on. And that was the sh uh, heavy shirt. There it is there. And you'll notice that it's kind of see-through and whatnot else, and you'll see why in a minute. So that everybody can see the weapon or the uh, bullets and his vest and that kind of thing on it. So I'm going to add that to the scene and it's sitting right here. Now to add this, to put this thing on the actual heavy, I'm going to expand both the heavy and the shirt and find out what item, what bones need to be locked together. And from what I can see I've got body and arms in the shirt, so I go to the bodies and arms in the heavy and I just start locking up transform, or locking up the bones. I drag the uh, matching bone from the heavy down onto the shirt just to lock them up Okay, once I have them locked up, I select the item that I want to move, and I zero out the item, and you can see it move on to the heavy. Now if I rotate down in, actually I'll just go to camera one. No, I need my camera where it is, I'm doing another video. And here we can see that the item has been applied to the heavy and it looks all right. There's no missing elements to it. Uh, it's not see-through, so it looks pretty good. And in order to move the heavy around, these things have to stay locked. Should still be able to add a rig to the heavy. And let's see.
and Fingers. Remember to rotate, change the rotation to world, uh, local. And spin up at the top so I can see what's happening. No. Rotation mode back to world. Zero. And there you go. With that, private jack out.